Hi Leo, welcome to your November reading. I hope you guys are having the best day. Thank you so much for being here and for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate you. We're going to be seeing what messages you come through for you guys for the month of November 2024. See what you need to look out for, what is going on. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. I am kind of booked up, so I might not get back to your response right away. So just please be patient with me. <sighs> but let's see. What's going on for you, Leo? What do you need to know? Month of November 2024. What's going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in November? Very interesting. We have the cheetah. Was what I was saying is it's interesting because it was very quiet into the cheetah. There's some sort of direct action you're taking. Now, Mars did move into your sign, so you are getting this boost of energy. We have the zebra. That's interesting. The zebra actually fell out in front of the cheetah, so I will keep it that way. Give me one more for Leo. We also have the lion. Hey, it's your energy. We also have the fox sticking out. There's something about a commitment here, Leo, that you might be making, or there is a something you're returning to but with a different approach with the hummingbird at the bottom of the deck hummingbird comes out when you're returning to something that's familiar it's a place that is something you see a lot of joy a lot of light a lot of laughter a lot it just it feels it's good energy it's something you're returning to though so anyways cheetah and the zebra and then with the lion, um, there is this vision that you have for the future. There are these dreams and there's these desires. And it looks like you are just bang on, locked in, driven, focused, and nothing's going to stop you. You're feeling this sense of purpose and you're just driven motivated you can't you just you just can't get your mind off whatever this is some of you this is about travel definitely seeing travel is a big big thing for someone um you might be guided to move you might be guided to i don't know just hop in your car and hit the road and go for a little trip a little road trip a drive there is this desire for expansion there's this desire for more fun more freedom and there's even something about volunteer work for somebody or you you wanting to make a difference in the world and make the world a better place. So definitely looks like you have good intentions behind this action, behind this path, behind this purpose, this opportunity. It's totally in alignment with you. It really fulfills you. It really, I'm hearing fulfilling the prophecy. <laughs> okay, you're fulfilling the prophecy. I, I don't know. I just see you're very, very just like driven excited locked in optimistic happy proud you know you you, you have a pro your pride is shining it's a it's a good pride like you got that lion pride leo pride you have this high worth high standard and you're very proud of what you're doing what you're accomplishing and you know that you're gonna get a lot of shit done. Mm hmm. You're gonna make moves, boss moves. Definitely seeing here with the lion. This is somebody who's highly respected, taken very serious. You're not playing, you're not joking, you're not messing around. This is something that you take very seriously. You're very committed to, and you can't wait to just jump on board. You can't wait to just get the show get get the show going, <laughs> you know? Um, the show must go on, as they say. Bit of a serious energy with the lion, but you just have this direct vision and a plan and you're sticking to it. You're consistent. There's something also about loyalty coming up here. So there's something you're being loyal to or you're taking a look at who's loyal around you. Hmm. You may have recently left something behind as well. The way that the lion has his back to the cheetah, I'm wondering if like you've recently separated or distanced yourself from something. I'm just seeing that intuitively. That's not how like that's not what the cards itself represent. I'm just noticing like the directions of how the animals are looking at each other or looking the other ways. So hummingbird, crocodile, and the shark. There are some things being brought up about a past situation that needs some addressing for sure. Give it a little bit of time to marinate. You don't need to figure this out instantly or tomorrow. I, this, this is something separate. It's like you have time or you've bought yourself some time. You bought yourself some time, but there is a little bit of this awkward tension. Or with the shark, sometimes when the shark comes up, it's like there's this threat. 
Is there really a threat though? Not quite sure, but with the crocodile and the shark, what got double water energy, you feel very sensitive, very emotional about whatever this is. Um, and it's saying that there's more to the story or there's more to come or there's more that will become parents in the near future. Now we do have the full moon in Taurus next Friday. So there could be something being revealed around then. Sometimes when the shark comes up though, it does speak of the need to be honest about something or you're needing to oh, speak your truth. If you haven't, or you've been sitting on it, waiting for the right timing, I'm seeing you're getting closer. When you know, you'll know, and that's time to go. So, interesting stuff. Pretty good vibes so far. I'm going to pull you a couple cards from the Everything Oracle, and then we will get into the tarot and see what you have going on this month. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. There's this deep desire to make a big change in your life or to create some sort of like lasting impact. This could be talking about your legacy you want to leave behind or legacy you're trying to build, a name you're trying to build for yourself, a business, um, a brand, maybe going worldwide, Mr. Worldwide, you know, <laughs> you're trying to really expand um, a business or you're trying to expand some sort of, again, a vision that you have building on your dream building on some sort of deep dream, deep desire. All right, so let's see what's going on for Leo in the month of November, 2024. We have self-sabotage and then pregnancy in the reverse. Ooh, so first of all, y'all, I mean, we're going to take pregnancy reverse in like a symbolic way where it's like self-sabotage, like sabotaging your own growth. So some of you do need to be very aware of how you're holding yourself back or how you're getting in your own way, blocking your own growth or blocking your progress or blocking something that has the potential to really grow and harmonize your life and make life even better. It's taking a lot of work though. It's seeming like, even with pregnancy reverse, I, and again, I wouldn't even read this oracle card in the reverse, but this is just what's come out and this is just what I'm picking up intuitively. It feels like there could be something shrinking. It's not like with this self-sabotage, not like you're completely just destroying it all at once but every little time you sabotage yourself you're making this thing this goal this dream this manifestation smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller so do be looking out for that do work on that <laughs> work on um you know supporting yourself believing in yourself then sabotaging yourself all right self-sabotage pregnancy reversed um i don't read for health so i'm not gonna talk about pregnancies like body and like the you know reproductive organs and shit like that well, i'm not gonna talk about that um but th there is something coming up about a pregnancy or maybe someone's struggling with getting pregnant right if you're again i don't i said it and then i'm still talking about it i'm still talking about it anyways let's move on what's going on for leo in the month of november 2024 any messages for leo we have long term what's going on for leo november 2024 they miss you somebody misses you we have completion or closure so someone is wanting closure you're wanting closure or seeing a, a chapter is completing in your life and these cards came out together so i you know I, I guess i can read these together they miss you completion or closure hmm Letters and name, maybe this will clarify this message for somebody. We have A, S, H, L, or N. So shout out if that's you or it gives you clarity. Shout out if that makes sense to you. Uh, is there anything else that Leo should know? Ooh, liar. You could be dealing with a liar. There's somebody here who's not telling the truth or twisting the truth. Or they're purposely leaving out certain information certain detail certain facts still kind of the same shit so we have liar we also have no tell somebody no putting your foot down no lies you're sa saying no to a liar <laughs> manifest at the bottom with ask for help so maybe you're needing help in some sort of area of your life, something you're trying to manifest or get off the ground that you've been struggling with, you might actually be needing to ask for some sort of help or assistance, or like call up a friend, 
um, self-love as well. Maybe this is about, you know, self-love and healing as well as seeking out some kind of therapy or doing a lot of self-work and um, reflection to help you manifest if there's like a blockage in your life or that whole self-sabotage thing it's like you're clearing out a personal blockage that's been preventing you from blossoming or flourishing or having some sort of dream life like you're seeing you're clearing out some sort of blockage but you need to also stop lying to yourself leo if you have been refusing to acknowledge your part in the situation or i don't know something you've been having a hard time accepting that you have been in denial about right liar if this is you you're a liar i'm calling your ass out lie loud pants on fire <laughs> but then we have no so i'm like maybe so, the fact that no came out after liars like is someone not a liar i'm confused and i don't want to be given confusing ass messages but i mean that's kind of confusing i ain't gonna lie make it make sense um so your numbers by the way we have 108 37 55 48 110 24 and 105 okay so just in case those numbers might be important to you it could be like a phone number or like an address maybe a couple of these numbers might be your age or like a birth year but not like a hundred and hundred and what 208 <laughs> i mean probably not but you never know who's watching you never know you never know so let's see what else is going on what else you need to know let me get a drink a little sip Stay hydrated, y'all. All right. What's going on for Leo in the month of November 2024? What can you tell Leo? What do my Leos need to look out for? I'm going to put these cards over here, okay? What is going on for Leo placements in November 2024? What can Leo expect? Oh, <laughs> that was crazy. That just flipped the hell out. We have the hangman, Pisces energy. There's something that you are taking a different approach to, or you're looking at something differently. You're gaining some sort of new insight, a new perspective, change of scenery. Um, this is kind of an energy of not doing too much. Like it's not really about taking action. It's more about just sitting, receiving, um, adapting is also just what I heard, adjusting, getting used to some sort of adjustment in your life. There is some sort of transitional stage that you are, a trans transitional period of your life. There are adjustments that you might need to make, though, Leo. Let's see what's at the bottom. Justice. Libra energy could be connecting with a Libra. There's something in your life that's balancing out. You might also be dealing with um, legal matters or documents or something to do with, like, a lawyer or court or just... Hmm... I am seeing like justice is being served or like a win-win outcome. I'm seeing like a 180 degree flip kind of situation where something bad turns out to be good. Hopefully not good to bad, but hey, you know, that's the 180 degree flip. I'm not trying to manifest that for you. <laughs> justice, also the five of swords. Oh, okay. And then the ace of cups. Is there there's someone here that you have a lot of love or trust for, but there's this energy of like betrayal, deception, fighting ego someone wanting to win at all costs or there's like someone that really took advantage of your kindness i'm seeing that there's some sort of karmic justice justice is being served here especially if you lost out on money going back to the hangman right money falling out of this guy's pockets there has been kind of some sort of loss it doesn't have to be like a physical loss although for some of you it is it's like there's something something you lost is about to be replaced or you're about to get back something that you misplaced it's coming back to you or you found it or there's a replacement for it like i have nothing else to really say to that <laughs> what's going on for leo november we have the empress we also have um temperance reverse that fell out on the hangman so you are needing to be more patient i am feeling like some of you are trying to rush things or you've been growing just like a tad bit impatient there's something out of balance something a little wacky here we have justice again at the bottom okay so spirit is really forcing you to surrender to this shift or surrender to a change that is out of your hands you are being divinely protected and divinely guided but like there is something that needs to change whether you need to give less to a situation whether you need to give more i'm not quite sure but there's some kind of adjustment that's needed 
in order for there to be more growth, something more sustainable, something more long-term, long-lasting, there's a necessary adjustment that you're making this month. We'll see what that's about. Maybe it's just a mindset, but I feel like maybe it's a change in your environment. Hmm. Okay, justice. Oh, yeah, it's the same stuff from earlier. Okay. Oh, did I talk about the Empress? Like, because it is showing that there's growth. It is showing that you are coming into a period of your life of receiving a lot of happiness and blessings, good fortune, good health. You are about to step into this life of growth and prosperity. So much that is going to be developing and changing and blossoming. But I feel like there's been this impatience or restlessness or something has just been off balance. I'm really drawn to the sun that's actually sticking through this card right here. Like your life is going to get brighter. Maybe there's some sort of clarity that's coming in. And even with the hangman, it does talk about getting clarity or seeing things from another way, a different perspective. So I guess this is necessary for you right now to really surrender to what's out of control, what's out of balance. Focus on what's within your hands, what's within your control. What, what am I saying? Does that make sense? I don't know. My words are wacky right now. We have the Eight of Wands showing that there's movement, there's progress, there's action that you're taking. Look, the sun shining through this card too. Not only temperance, but also this card, right? You see the sun? It's kind of blurry. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you're needing to take a look at the bigger picture, Leo. So when I say that, in this situation, where are you going? You might be thinking like five years from now. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're just thinking like the next month. Maybe you're just planning for the next week. But, you know, when I look at this Eight of Wands, it is very much like an open valley. It feels like maybe you need to keep an open mind, but this is giving more of um, just big picture energy, being able to see very clearly where you're headed, where you're going, what you want, like being able to see from miles and miles away. <laughs> but um, there's needing to be more room to grow. You need more room to grow. You may need to like expand. You may be just grown comfortable in a situation, gotten used to the habit, the routine, day to day right but spirit is saying that it's time to expand it's requiring you to have to make a sacrifice to your old life or your existing life if you're wanting it's like if you want to dream big dream bigger go big or go home <laughs> world also at the bottom so i'm seeing there is like a closing of one door and an opening of another some of you there is moving taking place in the future maybe it's not happening this month but there's this possibility of like why am I getting eight months or nine months, right? With the Empress, pregnancies, nine months or like 40 weeks, 38 to 41 weeks. Maybe is when this change is taking place or this move is taking place for somebody. We have the world. We also have three of pentacles and then the two of pentacles. There's like a decision that you're having to make in the near future that will have a huge It'll take you closer. I, it's showing that there's a transition taking place, but it's not quite final just now. It's showing that this is in the works. Three of Pentacles to the world. Maybe this is a change in your job or leaving a job, starting a new job. But it, with the Three of Pentacles, the way I would say is it, like you're. It's this build up. It hasn't come to an end just yet. This is talk, I'm talking about the big picture here. When we're talking about this Eight of Wands, and I look at the bigger picture, it's showing that where you are right now versus where your future self is, even six months from now. We were talking like you know, <laughs> 38 weeks to 41 weeks is the rounding up that I'm that picking up on or whatever the fuck. You're in the Three of Pentacles stage of this. You're not quite at the ten. There's still a ways to go. You're. You're, you're moving along though you're in the process of this door closing but the door is still very much wide open but it is starting to close but it's very gradual it's very slow and so are you get, and that's maybe why you're impatient because you want it to just be over and done with now but that it doesn't work that way <laughs> it don't work that way it doesn't work that fast at least how i'm seeing it right now although eight of wands it is pretty fast so Maybe there's certain things you can do to speed up the process. Let me see. What's this card? 
Mm, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Is something you're feeling a bit doubtful of or you're... What is this? Locking the resources, locking the funds, the finances. We have the Queen of Cups with the Devil and then the Nine of Pentacles. So there's something you're still like emotionally attached to or energetically attached to. And it's making this process a bit, a bit more difficult to be free or independent. Or reclaim your peace, reclaim your energy, your space. Yeah, it's showing that with the devil coming out though, with this queen of pentacles in the reverse, it is showing here that something's not quite able to kickstart or get off the ground 100%. There feels like there's this restraint. You're not able to quite flourish the way that you want to. All right, when we look at the queen of pentacles upright, we have this beautiful cherry blossom tree in the back. It's kind of like growth that's stunted. Or it's being slowed down. Hmm. Anyways, remember the animal cards from earlier. Don't lose sight of your vision. Don't lose sight of this dream, this desire, this manifestation. It's happening. It's coming. But you, it's like you got to lock in. You got to get serious about this. You really, really got to just show up consistently and if you're doing that already fucking awesome keep that up though <laughs> you got to keep that up in november at least for the month of november keep it up don't lose sight of the vision remember the cards earlier about self-sabotage and then pregnancy in the reverse like it's growing it's developing don't <laughs> this get this might be touchy what i'm about to say but don't abort the mission whatever this mission is don't just abort it don't just cut it off don't just end it don't just cancel it because it's not oh, it's not happening fast enough or it's much harder than i thought it was going to be don't quit <laughs> don't abort i mean hey you do you you do you you do you but don't lose sight of this vision okay don't quit don't oh my god thank you spirit don't give up literally literally ace of wands nine of wands don't quit don't give up i mean even when we add these cards together it's the ten of wands or we subtract it it's the eight of wands but it's literally saying like stand your fucking ground don't quit stay consistent it's like something you kind of have to fight for like how bad do you want this and if you can be open to maybe there's a different approach a different way a different angle there is what, what i'm saying maybe um of course there is hang man of course there's a different way there's a different approach there's a different thing you can do to bring you the results you desire quicker easier more fulfilling more fun um maybe there's a shortcut but the only way you'll discover is that is by continuing to keep pushing to keep persisting if you quit, if you give up now, then it's done. It's over. It's finished. Don't stop. <laughs> All right. Um, really just focus one thing at a time. You've come so far, Leo. You've come so far. Don't quit now. Don't give up now. Please keep going. I don't know what this is about or what the hell we're talking about in this reading. I really have no clue. I'm just reading the cards. But whatever this is, Spirit really, and I really, I'm just sending so much love, good vibes. Like, just keep going. Please just keep going going um just stay locked in where is this headed i don't know oh <laughs> the sun at the bottom it's headed to good stuff everything's aligning for you literally the stars are aligning now we do have pluto moving into aquarius oh what is that date hold on oh sorry yawn it's the 19th okay wow why am i getting tired all of a sudden <laughs> see it's like you're getting tired you're like i don't know how much i got and i don't i'm running out of steam like you're so fucking close to the finish line that's what i want to say you're so fucking close to the finish line pluto <laughs> is going to be opposite of you very soon and it's going to start to bring in significant change and powerful revolution for you in your life and whatever this area is whatever field we're talking about here in this reading however this may apply to your situation when pluto moves into aquarius this is it this is locked in like finally because pluto's been in and out of aquarius capricorn aquarius capricorn like i don't even know how many fucking times but it has been going over my venus placement my venus is leo at fucking zero i've been literally <laughs> oh my god it has been one hell of a journey it has been but have i given up no i haven't <laughs> no i fucking haven't so y'all i understand in some ways i do 
but um, you're so fucking close to the good. You're hitting the jackpot. This big victory, this big win, this happiness, this fulfillment. Everything's aligning for you. There's divine timing, but the stars are aligning. <laughs> Mars and Leo, which Mars will be retrograding back into Cancer next month in December, and we're gonna we're gonna feel a little bit of this backsliding. Be like, no, like we're so close, and now so you know what. There is a bit of like five steps forward, three steps back, a couple more steps forward, a couple steps back. Like there is this kind of push pull, but it's like you're rocking the boat or um, like a car that's stuck in mud. You have to keep pushing it, push it and then push back, push it. Like it's like you're trying to rock the boat, rock the car to get it out of this stuck, stagnant mud. Like you get me? You're so fucking close. But the only way out is if you keep going, if you stop now, then it's done. It's then then may as well just walk away and just fucking scrap this thing. Like, no, don't do that. Obviously, use your discernment, though. Like you do you. But I, what I'm seeing in this reading, what are the messages coming through is like, don't fucking give up. All right, apply pressure, push harder, don't stop. <laughs> okay, fight for this, whatever they literally death underneath the sun and the four of swords. What I'm seeing is through Scorpio season, Scorpio season asks you to apply the heat, apply the pressure, put your foot on the gas pedal. But after that, after that, four of swords, hierophant, it seems like there's this breakthrough and you can rest and you can just chill. You don't have to do so much afterwards. So it's, it seems like heading into Sagittarius season is where you can kind of just surrender. It comes very easy and seamless. And it's like you're almost just being carried away by like, I don't know, some sort of energy, divine energy that's just stepping in. And now you're gliding and now it's seamless. And now it's like, OK, wow. Like, I don't know. It, it feels like very much push, 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 push getting tired, getting, running out of steam, wanting to quit, why am I doing this? But maybe there's a different way you can approach this situation. Probably is. Maybe we should look into that. But then, then I'm seeing a breakthrough with your persistence, with your dedication and consistency. You're going to break through this and get to the other side. And you'll be so fucking glad you didn't quit. You'll be so glad you didn't give up. You'll be so, so, so glad. Seriously, Leo, I, I promise you. I promise you. Whatever we're talking about here, you'll be so glad you didn't quit. Right now, you're kind of like, oh, what's the point? But your future self is literally cheering you on and begging you. Come on, keep going. I promise it's worth Like Your future self's on the other side of this, thriving, happy, living their best life. So keep going. Don't quit. Take a break when you need to. Slow down if you need to. Every little step, no matter how big, no matter how small it is, progress is progress. See how far you've come. I'm proud of you. I'm fucking proud of you. I'm cheering you on. Round of applause. So let me just see what the hangman is about. Different approach, different like adjustments you might be needing to make. What might help kind of speed up the process or get you out of the stagnancy. Because even when we look at a hangman, he's chained, right? His, he's kind of stuck. He feels well it's not even a feeling he just simply is just kind of hanging around and kind of watching time tick and <laughs> so um let's see here hangman talk about hangman for leo there's a different way a different approach doing things opposite maybe that's the way about it <laughs> opposite day that 180 flip y'all all right look eight of pentacles at the bottom don't you fucking quit <laughs> you didn't get this far just to quit i'm being your little motivator right now your little life coach you didn't get this far leo just to quit to give up on your dream yeah look at this card the five of swords look at the self-sabotage you better stab yourself you better end it all you're like what's the point i'm just gonna end it all because this is pointless no you better keep going strength okay i know i know i know i know i know it requires so much of your mind, of your strength, of your willpower. There's moments where you really just want to quit. You want to just scrap it all. You just want to give up. I'm proud of you for not giving up, no matter how much you've wanted to. And, there, and you know, November, there's still moments where you kind of just want to just call it quit still. Like, there's still moments like that. <sighs> you may need to lean on others for support, a community, a group. We, this, this fucking, don't you say, I don't have nobody. This is a channel community. 
let's lean on each other let's love each other let's support each other you're not alone because you're part of this community you're here right now you're not alone you're part of this beautiful community we're almost at 65,000 subscribers <laughs> it's incredible so even on times where you do feel alone you're not we got your back i got your back all the subscribers we got your back right this is a cult community this is a family so yeah i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying um but yeah no you might need to like get some sort of help or assistance so didn't we have that card earlier with the everything oracle like ask for help yeah some of you may be needing to ask for help remember that and it's okay to ask for help it does not make you weak and some of y'all are letting your pride and ego get in the way You're like well no i don't want to ask for help why ask yourself why maybe there's a little bit of shadow work that's needed all right let's see with you being persistent and not quitting what is that going to get you what's the outcome with that nine of wands and the ace of wands let's see what the outcome looks like so you're staying dedicated you're like okay i'm not gonna sabotage myself jade i'm not gonna quit i know there's gonna be moments where i want to but i'm not going to give in <laughs> i'm not gonna give in to the demons all right so let's see what this will bring you ace of wands and then nine of wands with leo's persistence and dedication and pushing themselves to not give up what can leo expect what's the outcome looking like in this situation please show me clearly oh okay look look page of pentacles just flipped itself out that's crazy okay the star at the bottom you have this vision you have this dream you have this for a reason there's a reason why you're able to see it in your mind's eye there's a reason why whenever you think about this dream this desire this wish this you know blessing there's a reason why you're feeling called to it there's a reason why you're being guided to it it's yours it's literally yours if it wasn't meant to be you wouldn't be having these thoughts you wouldn't be having these feelings we wouldn't have be having these dreams it's just it wouldn't so the fact that you have these ideas it may not again it might not be in your physical reality right now but that doesn't mean shit <laughs> it literally doesn't mean shit it's yours give it time to manifest into the 3d you put an order out you know you buy something online it's gonna take some time for it to ship to your location right to your address it's gonna take a little bit of time you know even amazon prime sometimes that shit still takes days okay it's still coming it's still arriving eventually it's gonna arrive on your doorstep so stay focused on that vision don't lose sight literally with the star wish fulfillment energy and having hope and optimism for the future as well as energy of healing self-acceptance and authenticity so as long as this really aligns with you and you have true pure intentions you have good intentions behind this there is no way this won't manifest it literally is yours it's, you're locked in it's claimed you don't have to worry about a damn thing you just gotta stay consistent like how many times do i have to say it in this ring just stay consistent leo three of cups and then the king of cups and so we're asking like well where is this going to bring leo this is bringing you so much joy so much happiness fulfilling relationships love friendship and romance even connection loyalty people who have your back people who support you and your dreams and love you wholeheartedly and openly um <laughs> yeah this is great i'm seeing here that this is going to be something not a pentacles king of wands lovers something that just gives you a lot of freedom independence confidence really just makes you feel good about who you are the work you do it just makes you feel really proud mm -hmm. king of wands also the lovers and the nine of cups see again wish fulfillment but you have to decide two of swords and the lovers you have to decide you have to make a decision are you going to stick it out are you going to commit yourself to this or are you going to just quit and walk away you quit and walk away you're not going to get any of the blessings that come from your hard work and all the fruits of your labor you know it's all for nothing so you either stick it out or you get up don't don't <laughs> don't give up leo because i see again you're calling in and attracting a very amazing i mean i don't see even like attracting like-minded people soulmate energy um your soul tribe maybe a lover a love interest or even like a like dream business partnership like definitely seeing partnerships is on the horizon for you didn't we see the um didn't we see never mind i thought maybe i'm mixing up with a different reading i did hmm didn't we have the fox come out or it was popping out of the deck maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't in your reading it might not have been but definitely big commitment a big fat commitment or something long term what were the everything all cards again 
um self-sabotage yeah long term that was weird they miss you that was irrelevant that did not come through in this reading at all <laughs> okay but that was just like a side message clearly all right i don't know i'm gonna leave your reading here leo but i hope that this was helpful i hope this inspires you to just keep fucking going whatever it is that you're working on i'd love to hear in the comments below let me know how this resonates um i'm here for you i care i love you sending you lots of good vibes and it will work out for you so just trust the fucking process <sighs> Yeah, that's all I got to say. I hope you have a blessed day. I will catch you in your next weekend. I think, you know, because I know this last week, the upload schedule has been wonky as fuck. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to try to get back onto like the regular upload schedule. So you'll probably see me again on Monday. Probably. Well, I, I'm going to try. We'll try. We'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens, y'all. But um, I'll see you later. Bye, Leo.